if y'all can hear it it is raining right now and so i'm over here on my porch and uh, i brought this uh i got this uh my my ar-10 with me right now here on my lap i got this thing it's a 24 inch barrel and uh i bought this thing for a thousand bucks and i paid 500 dollars for the scope but i bought the scope a long time ago i had the scope on an old hunting rifle on an old bolt action but i didn't like the bolt action i shot it a couple times uh it's just you know bolt actions they're kind of a rough a rough little gun in my in my belief uh, there's a use for them there you know you can get a very 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 good accuracy out of them but there isn't the, like any sort of buffer system in it and usually the bolt actions they're built to be lightweight for hunting and stuff like that uh to be carried around and so bolt actions if you shoot them they tend to be a little bit rough they uh they're like shooting 12 gauge shotguns and so, yep, uh, I bought this AR-10 for a thousand bucks. And the reason, my big reason for uh, bringing this uh, AR-10 out here with me today is to, you know, uh, to give people an idea of what I mean by you don't need a set amount of money to have unlimited money. And granted that take all of this stuff as a, uh, you know, like this isn't a, uh, this is not, there, there are zero such things as guarantees in life, right? A lot of people, they want guarantees. Oh, I want a guarantee for this. I want a guarantee for that. I don't want to take any risk over here. I don't want to take any risk over there. Chances are in life, you are going to have to take risk one way or another. You either take a risk or you don't take the risk and you suffer the consequences for not taking the risk. That is how life works, right? It's not just, I don't take risk. And everything goes, we go walking off into La La Land. That's not how life works. You know, the greatest risk that you take for not taking the risk is not taking the risk, right? I mean, you know, you've, you've altered your path in a drastic way. And like me, uh, you know, this is what I mean by you don't need a set amount of money to have unlimited money. So when I look at the things that I got going on, right? When I look at my cattle, when I look at my grass, when I look at my investment portfolios, et cetera, et cetera, the character that I am, you know, the, the person that I am, you know, granted that I do have my flaws, everybody does have their flaws, but when I am looking at my life, I acknowledge the things that I do very well. I, I, I'm always acknowledging a lot of people, they're very acknowledging of the things that they do not do well, but they do not acknowledge the things that they do very well. And that turns into kind of a doom loop. And so me, I always tell myself to acknowledge the things that I do very well. So me, like, look at this farm right here, right now, right? Let's say, uh, let's take, I take a very honest look at my bills. This grass right here, what does it, you know, this last month, you know, uh, my grass, uh, okay, so what's happening with my grass right now is that the grass that I had, it, it was growing in very well. And then the grass died, right? The grass died. And now it's regrowing. And so that grass that had grown in and had died is now decomposing and applying fertilizer to my field. And the, uh, the grass that is growing in right now is, uh, is essentially metabolizing that stuff as of right now. And so over the last month, I've spent about, you see all this grass right here? It cost me about $250. Maybe not even that, maybe $200. I've spent about $200 over the last month growing all of this grass, my right hand to God. Damn my soul if I lie. This this grass right here, it cost me about $200. Hey, leave it alone. And so this grass right here cost me about $200. Uh, maybe plus or minus, maybe $50, right? Plus or minus. I don't know if it actually cost, you know, because the, uh, the tonnage of fertilizer that I bought and I only put maybe, I didn't, maybe I put half of it, maybe less than half of it. You know, that tonnage of fertilizer that I had bought cost me, uh, I think it was like 500, 550 bucks. And maybe I used, uh, let's just say half of it, right? 250 bucks. Okay, actually, let's take a look at it right now. And I used about five bags of feed so far. So let's say, you know, let, I haven't used half. Let, let's say it cost me a 250 bucks, right? Plus or minus 50 bucks. And what did I get for that $250? Enough grass to feed 50 animals. To put, not only feed 50 animals, but to put conditioning on them as well. 
right, to a commercial standard. I have grown enough grass to feed 50 animals to a commercial standard. In terms of what should, how much fat should they be putting on, etc., etc., it is very difficult. One of the things that is very difficult, and I think that one of the reasons why, uh, well, the, the, the biggest difficulty for people is to understand these concepts about grass that I am talking about. I think that that is one of the things that is very difficult for people to understand because if somebody is growing corn, right? Let's say I'm growing corn. If I'm growing corn, granted that it's not just easier because I'm growing corn. Let's say that I'm growing corn, right? When the corn, I can send that corn off to a, 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 a lab for testing and or whatever. I can check the kernels for whatever. And when it's good to go, I can just chop it, right? I can just chop it and now I can put it in a bin and I can feed it to the animals whenever I want. And essentially that feed value for the corn is going to stay what it is. But the big difficulty with grass is that grass is, is dynamic. It's growing, it's, uh, it's constantly changing. And so to put conditioning on an animal properly with grass requires a, a pretty thorough knowledge. You gotta be very, very, very uh, aware of what is going on at all times. If the grass is, is, is causing massive acidosis in the animals, the animals could die from eating too much. If the, if the feed value of the grass is not high enough, the animals will not be putting on conditioning properly. And a lot of people, they want grass-fed beef. Um, grass-fed beef is considered one of the top, top quality beef, beef products in America. A according to the consumer and according to market demand, grass-fed beef like mine right here, like this field right here, grows the, uh, the, uh, the top quality. Uh, you know, this is usually when, Amer when Americans talk about eating beef this is the beef that they want most of the time this is considered the uh, the the top of the market in terms of what people want for most people you know a lot of people when they see the commercial beef industry they get kind of uneasy right even me it's like they got these animals jammed into a barn you know there are there you know when they poop on the ground it falls through slits on the floor or whatever it may be it's kind of uneasy right a lot of people when they see farms like this this is what most American people want in terms of their beef. You know, you know, you know, even if I had 50 animals here, they would have more than enough food to feed all of them and they would have more than enough space to just walk around and be happy, right? This is what most people want. It's kind of, you know, uh, I'm not saying this, you know, because I understand that the, uh, the commercial beef industry exists for a reason, right? People buy commercial beef. At the end of the day, there is a lot of, there, there is a large market demand for commercial beef because it is cheap, right? Because it is cheap and the, and the quality is good, right? The quality is great and, and, the, and the product is cheap. But this right here, the grass-fed beef, is this is what most people want. In terms, of, in terms of if they could choose and not worry about price, this is usually what they would choose to buy. And so what I mean by what money, at a certain point, you don't need a certain amount. I think a lot of people, they, they become discouraged about a lot of things. Oh my God, if I don't have a million dollars, I'm poor. If I don't have $10 million, I'm poor. But, okay, me, let, I'm just gonna be honest. If I make an excess of $7,000 a month, right? If I make an excess of $7,000 a month, let's say I work my whole life and I, and I, and I, and I, and I tell myself, Every single day, you know, I'm going to work for a better future. I'm going to work for a better future. I'm going to work for a better future. I'm going to put in the effort no matter what it takes. I'm going to put in the work for a better future. I'm going to just keep going and I'm just, no matter what, even if it is hard, even if I have to stick to it, even if I don't know I'm going to make it, I'm going to stick to it anyway so that I can have a better future, right? And let's say one day, one day down the line, let's say 14 years down the line. I've been working uh, four, 15 hours a day for 14 years, right? Let's say at that 14 year mark, I finally find a way to make myself an extra $7,000 a month. You know, now I'm running commercial beef cattle, right? Now I'm growing grass on my own field. And this, let's say that this, this, this business makes me an excess of $5,000 a month. Let's say now I have an excess of $5,000 a month. The moment I have $5,000 a month of excess income, I have become rich. You do not need a million dollars. You do not need $10 million. The moment you hit that threshold, oh, I've put in enough time and enough effort to get to that point where I now make an excess of $5,000 a month. The moment you hit that threshold, you will become rich. 
And a lot of times, the, and what I'm talking about rich is a mentality, right? Because a lot of times it, it took so much effort and it was so difficult to put in that 14 years of effort that usually... Like, here's a very good way to look at this. If somebody took away everything, like this, all of this, if they took all of this away, right? If they took all of this away, chances are I would be right back to doing this within six months. Within six months, I would be able to do this all over again for myself. From, from scratch, from nothing. If you took everything away from me, I could do all of this again. Legitimately, I could do it all over again. Within six months, I would be doing this again. I would have in created my own investment portfolio. I would be running cattle. I would be growing grass. I would have, you know, the character that is required to, to do this. But that is why, it, you know, that is why, you know, well, granted that when I tell people that I can't help anybody and that if they really want to do this, they're going to have to help themselves and that I'm not naive and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? The reason that, that that is so true and the reason I believe these things is because usually along the way, the, the journey, not the journey, but the process, the process is what is more important than the result. The result, like anybody can look at this and go, man, I want this, right? Man, I want this. Man, I want to have the extra thousands of dollars a month. I want to have unlimited money. Man, I want that. But if they actually, a lot of people, when they look at the process of what was required they, they, they do not actually want it. Deep down, they want something else, right? Deep down, they want to look cool. Deep down, they, want, they just want an easier life. They don't want to put themselves through the 14 years of working 15 hours a day. And, but that 14 years of working 15 hours a day is very important because it builds your character. It turns you into the person that you need to become to be able to actually do this and to maintain this properly. That is why it is so important. It, it creates your mindset. That is why it is so important. And that is what I mean by like me, you know, like when I look at me right now, right? You know, when I, not even like when I look at me, but when I look at this, right? I have unlimited work opportunity. If I wanted to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the rest of my life, I could do it. There would, there would be infinite demand for my skill set. The grass fed beef is almost the top quality American beef product. When Americans say they want beef, usually they're envisioning something like this. But when they go to the market, they, they, they choose with their with, with they choose with their money, right? When they go into the grocery store and they buy that commercial beef, they may not say they want it. They may not want it, but they are choosing with their with their money. When they buy that commercial beef, that is what they are choosing. But if they had a choice, they would choose this. Most people would. And so, like me, when I look at this right now, and, and, and when, I mean, when I say that I have unlimited work opportunity, and I could work 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the rest of my life if I felt like it, I'm also, you know, considering the fact that I make a lot of money running commercial beef cattle, right? I make a lot of money running cattle. These beef cattle make me a lot of money. And so there is incentive for me to do this as well. I, I could financially sustain myself by doing this. But that is, also, that, that is what I mean by when you hit a certain threshold, you now have unlimited money. That is what I mean. You know, oh, this person, is, you, know, the, the, you know, like, because you learn to do things like, oh, this person is not good with money, boom, cut them out of your life, right? Oh, this, this person is naive, boom, cut them out of your life. Oh, this person is evil, boom, cut them out of your life, right? You learn how to do things other than farming. That is what is so important. But at a certain point, when you hit that threshold, where it's like, I finally found a way to do it for myself, I finally found a way to make it for myself, at that point, you now have unlimited money. When you hit that threshold, it's like it's like that breaking point. Once you once you pass that breaking point, you now have unlimited money. You have the mindset that is required to make money and to do better for yourself. You know, you have a skill set that can be that, that is a you know, you have a skill set that is demanded by the world and you can make money off of it, etc., etc. You are now capable of doing the things that are required 
to make the money. And that is what I mean by at a certain point, once you hit the certain point, you now have unlimited money. And this AR-10 is a very good example. I bought this AR-10, paid a thousand dollars for it, didn't even make a dent, right? Didn't even make a dent in my financials. I paid for the grass, you know, $250, right? $250 and now I have enough grass to feed 50 beef animals to commercial standards. The land, I pay $1,100 a month for it, right? Well, the cattle will pay that for me. The truck, you know, $350 a month. The cattle will pay that for me. Every, you know, I'm sitting on thousands of dollars of excess money every single month. Why? Because I have become a person who has crossed that threshold. And I am looking when I, you know, that should be the goal of everybody. Improve better. Improve yourself every single day until you've crossed the threshold. Until you've crossed the threshold, improve yourself every single day. That should be the goal for everybody. Do not compare yourself to me. Do not compare yourself to me. It is a waste of time. And if you really want to copy what I do, if that is your big idea, you just want to copy what I do, well, copy 15 hours a day for 14 years straight. Do not quit no matter what. Teach yourself whatever it takes to make it. That is what you should copy. Because you cannot copy this. I almost guarantee it. If you try, you will look handicapped. But that's it for me today, YouTube. Y'all have a good one.